my son came round today, my youngest son, and I've quite struggled with my kids over what I believe in. They just say, what the hell, she's crazy, and what does it mean to me? It means nothing to me. What does it mean to me? It doesn't change anything. It doesn't mean anything to me, and unfortunately, well, I don't, I don't blame them. They've grown up in it, but um, they're a bit more materialistic and so forth. But I don't actually disagree with what my son said today. I need a new boiler. I got him to come round to look at my boiler and my boiler is quite old and it just won't. The, the, the water's okay. It's a combi boiler, but the heating doesn't come on and we're coming up to September and I haven't saved for a boiler, you know, lockdown, everything else. Um, he was saying to me, with the effort that you put into your videos, if you put that into a small business, imagine how much money you'd make. In that he's probably not wrong, is he? But um, I do this from my heart. Um, I feel a need to, even though I have to be careful because Preston put a video out and he was talking about blood being like a plasma and so forth. YouTube gave him a strike for that. So you have to be really careful what you do and what you say. It's like totalism, I think that's the right way to say it. Wherever you go, you know, nurses, the whole thing, leave their jobs, why? But they're not allowed to say, they're not allowed to talk. We're not allowed to talk. We're talking, but we're not allowed to talk. If I wasn't muted by YouTube, I'd be saying a lot more. But I'm muted. I don't want to lose my channel. You know, some things people do see that I'm showing, and, you know, that's part of what this is. But anyway, we're going to put this video on. It's the BBC. Good morning. It's Wednesday, the 22nd of September, and Boris Johnson hopes for securing a comprehensive free trade deal with the US appear to be fading after President Biden downplayed the issue after their face-to-face -face meeting at the White House. I'm looking at them and I think, oh, they don't look real either. They look like computer images, images, CGI. Um, I don't even think it's deep fake, although they do use deep fake. And then I noticed her head is bigger than his head. They're sitting next to each other, aren't they? Do you see that? So what I do is I get, that's an arrow, but I just wanted the line to show that I think it's almost straight. It might be slightly up there, but you can see that their heads are the same size. And you can see there, well, actually it's bigger. She's bigger. And then I didn't like this thumb thing. You just see it a mile off. You think, did I see that? Let's go and play that bit again. Look, she chopped her nail off when she was fiddling with her thumb. She chopped her thumb off. There it is. She's got really long nails. She chopped it off with her nail. Whoosh. She'd be blood everywhere. She chopped her, finger, her thumb off. Mm. You just see these things and her hands don't look right. Anyway, and they were talking about the news and how Boris and Biden and all that crap that they talk about. And, um, you know, constantly see this white line around their masks. So that means their masks have been added to the photograph or pictures or... Mm. He has the most strangest blue eyes. Anyway, and then basically... And um, basically... Hannah, she did this. I don't think her channel's there anymore. Look, look at the right of his head. Just, you know, look in here at this bit here. It's all moving. The wallpaper's moving. There's no way the wallpaper can move because he's not attached to it, is he? Um, he's sitting in front of it Just to get your head round. But it's everything. This is just, um, this is just a six, whatever it is, six o'clock news. Ten minutes of the six o'clock news. Nothing in its right. You've got, like, when you're actually, I took loads of pictures and somehow they just didn't go through to YouTube, uh, to Facebook. So I've done it by video instead. I was going to do it by pictures, show you a bit of the video and then show the pictures. But he's a giant sat there. And, you know, in a minute you're going to see his hair. 
He doesn't have, like, one minute you're seeing him with hair all over his face, you can hardly see his face. Oh, look at that. Now that's behind him. And look, it's attached to him. It goes into his head. He's holding the pillar up. And when you look on that, is that a number 17? I saw it as letters, but it just looks like writing. You can't never quite make it out. And um, his head doesn't look right there. It, we, that thing was in his head. And then this happened, and it shows you what they're doing. So we just go up to it here. Oh, we're coming back to it. <laughs> here we go. There you go. There is a box round that eye. There is a box that goes round that eye. Where's his face gone? And this bit. See? AI. AI. It's all AI'd. It's all a cartoon. Sorry, there's some people outside. I'll just shut the window. Yeah, look at that. Do you see the box around his eye? And the white mark around his mask. You just see these things. You don't even mean to, but you know you're going to. Where's his blue eyes? He's got blue eyes. Do you see blue eyed man? Because I don't. Oh, and then um, Boris met with her. Like, why can't you see the parting in her hair? Let's just go back to that. Here. Yeah. Why can't you see some kind of parting in her hair? Her hair's always messy anyway. Look at that. That's. Anyway, yeah. And then. Um, we're going on to this woman, I just didn't really like her hands. And then I thought, she's got a very wide neck. How do we know that that's a woman? Look at her dress. I mean, we don't wear dresses like in tops like that anymore. That's not the right fashion. My daughter doesn't wear anything like that. Look at the size of her neck. Yeah, that's a pretty um, wide necked woman. Uh, that's the reporter talking about Boris and her. I can't remember what her name is now. Um, Deputy President. Uh, her name has gone right out of my brain, but I don't really want to have her in my brain either, so it's okay. Don't worry about it. Camilla, that's it, Camilla. Oh. Anyway, and I just look at her and I think, yeah, that doesn't look right either. None of it looks right. Just look at her hair. Let's go back to that minute. If you want to, like, look at her hair and how it's all going on this thing. She's supposed to be standing outside wherever it is and doing whatever it is, but she isn't, or it isn't, or he isn't. Yes. I don't think any of that looks right either. And then... In the middle of her bit, she stopped and she showed. they showed this picture. And I'm thinking, wow, they did the work for me. Because look at Boris's head. It doesn't look right, does it? A bit of his head's missing. And you can see there, he hasn't got messy hair all over his face. You can see there, his hair is really short. And the giant body. And it's glitching. Do you see those lines on it? Oh, let's go back. Sorry, we're going back again. Oh, no, I've gone too far. Here, look at these jagged lines. So he's got no fringe. His head's missing there. And uh, look at it all. Glitchy, glitchy, glitchy. And then that line round there. And where's his hair? Where's your hair? You've just been sporting hair. Where's your hair? Oh, nothing is what you think it is. And then the same thing happens to him. Where's the top of his head? You know he's got a big forehead and a head and he's got this hair. Where's his hair? And look at that eye. 
and he's all jagged. So that means it's not right and they're superimposed in. Anyway, we're going back to... an A and a 9. A, P, S. It's like writing S, U, I, whatever it is there. Something there. I bet there's something there. Here, and you can read... Oh, I've lost it now. Anyway, there's letters there. It's unbelievable, isn't it? Just there. Yeah, anyway, let's move on. Another cartoon. They always look like they've got eye makeup on. And what you have to do is, if you put your hand over their eyebrows, it looks like, almost like a girl. There's always this, oh, I don't, I don't get it. I don't want to go too much into it. I always see it, and I'll talk about it privately, but I just want to show you that I don't think that's right. Because, you know, people keep losing their channels and getting strikes, so some of it has to be done privately. And hopefully you see what you see. But, um... Yeah, we obviously know that he's sitting on some screen. He won't have that in the background, will he? Looking out of his window. It's not just that. He's a cartoon again. I mean, look at his eyebrows. Is he constantly... That's quite hard work, isn't it? Keeping your eyebrows up. Come on, you do it. Sit there with your eyebrows up. He kind of half disappears in the in the picture. So we're going to get to that bit. But the eye makeup, they always look like they've got eye makeup on. What's that about? I don't know what it's about, but, um, you know, you take the forehead away, the face changes. It's that forehead. See, it doesn't go. That is not right. That has been added to the face. And then they can have anybody with dark hair, blonde hair, no hair. Blue eyes, brown eyes, well we hardly see anybody with blue eyes because probably because of all their deep faking and stuff they're doing. But um I just think he's another you know, another <sighs> digital thing. Yeah, anyway, we're gonna move it on because it's going a bit slow now. It was I was actually the, the, the Biden and um Boris I was doing more on. There it is. So suddenly, as I'm playing the footage, that happens. Zzz. See that? Look, he's nearly disappeared. Technology. Technology. And all the crappy things that they do to the people. So they have no idea what's going on. The video is coming to an end. See? We know that he's on something because if he was a real person, this isn't right and it's coloured in. And again, her. Some accident happened. This woman didn't get her money and she's got it now. But I mean, this is another man. But um, I don't know if that looks right. Zoom in on that in a minute. There you go. It's all to do with errors and pensions. But she, let's go back to that, is not outside that right let's stop it a minute we're going to zoom in this is all weird right we're going to look at it going to do it usually i do these things this is what i do i spend time making the videos let's go over to the lamp post first of all right well that's supposed to be a real lamp post yeah it's not it's been put in and then we're going back over to her neck because i can see it just here where she's been added on or they've been added on do you see that do you see it do you see it that head is added and I think that is the man and it is this is very very I don't know not a very girly watch but anyway yes they're not there either so just the whole thing's made all day long they're just making videos make the one about the nine o'clock news it's just not real not real 
she is superimposed in top of this whatever it is and I don't know about this one but she's superimposed on this and uh, it's ridiculous she's supposed to be talking and making it look like she's standing there and flipping talking when she isn't anyway on to the next bit because this bit's also quite good this guy coming up and his glasses oh sorry we're just finishing this bit off this guy and his glasses what the hell is happening there what the hell what the hell what is that anyway thank you very much for watching um yeah he not really though so that means nobody on this program was real they were all digital that's it that's what's running it then the digital world is running everything it's got to be because everything's digital it's all lying and playing games with itself and they're making it all for us those thus ah anyway thanks very much for watching what's your thoughts When you see it, you see it. This is, well, it's got tell one, so that sounds like Israel. And um, they're talking about Biden, but I can't understand it. Anyway, this is only yesterday. And look at the man. You can definitely see that he's green screening. Can't you? Or, that's just an image put in there for us. Yeah. He does go on a bit. She gets a bit frustrated because she's like, okay, sir, yes, sir, sir, yes, sir. Because um, he does go on a bit, Who, whoever they are. Mm. She doesn't look like him, although she's probably doing the same thing. Because that background's probably not there. But when you do anything with moving the footage up the bar like that, with you can see me across the bottom... It always looks like that, so I just think, oh, it's all fake anyway. I mean, I can see it's fake when it's running, and then I think, well, anyway, I blew him up a little bit. Deary, deary me. Oh dear, car's going. Sorry, you'll hear the car going, but the window's open. It's too late now. They're going now, so sorry about that. Um... Yeah, anyway, you can see that he's green screening. At least, if it's not just an image stuck in there for us. We must have just been so blind and stupid. Because they've got away with it now. This is what everybody watches. Hmm... He doesn't, when you do that, it doesn't even look like he's got any hair, that person. But anyway, just showing it again in case you missed it, that you cannot. So, she's talking to nobody. <laughs> or she's talking to a phone, or what is she talking to? Oh, yeah, she looks really, they all look so real when they're talking to these people who are not really there, or green screen, or whatever they're doing. But I don't quite know how they're doing it. It just looks like cartoons to me. bunch of cartoons it could be that he's a real person and he's just not sitting in the background and when they put it on that's what it looks like I don't know but you can definitely see that he is green screening and they just don't look right when you look because you can see all the mistakes when you do that they never look like the people anyway every day everything I look at looks like that that one is just so obvious she's had a look look she's they're probably saying tell him to hurry up you've got to get him finished <laughs> yes 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 sir, yes yes come on come on anyway you're probably saying that about me <laughs> we're going to go on to the next bit of the video but i just thought that i would um 
stick that in because it's just so blatantly obvious. I think that's the White House in the background. And um, that bar just shows all the mistakes as far as I'm concerned. But anyway, I thought that was a pretty good one for a change. What's your thoughts? Did you see it? Did you see it? We'll just show you one more time. Just a bit. We'll do it here. Oh, we'll get there. Do you see it? We're going to be looking at two places today. The first place is Norfolk Island. I just became a little bit interested in it. I just watched a video on it and although it's not part of Australia in a way anymore, it is and, and it isn't, but you still need an Australian passport to go there. So it can't be then, it has to be a separate place, but still, it's still under Australia. But anyway, this little island is in the, the Pacific edge of the, well, this side, no, Australia side of the Pacific. Um, I just became a little bit interested because when we were looking at pictures of this place, to me, the thing that goes in my mind when I looked at these was Roman. And how could that be? Because Australia and these islands would not have been found till like, what, 16th, 17th century. But to me, some of those buildings that they've got, it might be that place again, because this is where I was looking up. But I just saw that picture and it's got a few islands around it. Neighbouring islands, that is. But these buildings... Oh, I don't know. I think that's... That's in Norfolk. Norfolk in England. Look at that. i just put in that one in. Sorry, it's not really <laughs> what we're talking about. And that might be another one. Anyway, we're back to Norfolk Island now. Obviously only a small island. How could the Roman-like buildings be there if this place wasn't discovered for hundreds of years later? Hmm, so that's why we're putting Norfolk Island in. And now we're on to somewhere different, Eniox. And again, it's got that Roman feel to it. It's got this dam and it doesn't look like someone built that in the 1800s. Anyway, this was a copper mining town or village. So there were streets, there were bars, there were hairdressers, there were shops. There it is. Look at that. Does that look like someone built that in the 1800s or does that look more Roman to you? So that was the connection between these two. They just look Roman. Um, then the mining business bottomed out. Not only did people leave for that reason, a fire went through the town. It is quite a long way from everywhere. I think you have to go to this place by a boat because it says, I read later on, although it is attached to the bigger town, there's no way to get there. You have to go by water. And um, so people go for trips there. And um, yeah, little bits are left, but look at, look at that dam. Does that look like a Victorian built it or a Roman built it? Anyway, it's called a ghost town. There you are, ghost town. There's this dam. And obviously, you know, people who like to explore abandoned places, many of them go there and film it. And of course, it had a mine. A copper mine. Anyway, let's carry on. Yep, these are the pictures that are there. Can you explain what that is? Big tarpaulin across there. Not sure. It looked like a wood just a minute ago. But look at that. I've got to stop this. I mean, great that they've made a town there. But it's quite unfinished and they're quite close to the edge and... It's almost as if 
these houses are just moved in just like they are. You could buy one like this and it gets shipped to you or taken to you because they did even, you know, I watched a video in the 1800s, they're just moving a house around and they would move the houses around. But it just looks so tatty and tacky. You know, none of, you know, I don't know. I suppose it's supposed to look like the prairies, but now we all know that that's not true about cowboys and Indians and all that. But there you go. So that's that picture before is that picture, but I just blew it up a bit because it just looks so unfinished. Anyway, there's a little bit of information about it if you want to um, look that up on there or look it up yourself on the internet. Um, 60 miles southwest of Stuart. There you are, 3,000 people in it in the peak in the 1920s. It was a mining place 60 miles southwest of Stuart, Granby Bay in coastal inlet, 60 miles. But you can look this place up for yourself and it's like, ah, oh, another place has gone, another mining town or village or whatever it is has gone. Oh, a fire got it. And, you know, there was bits in that town, that, that dam and um, uh, Norfolk Island, Roman. What was your thoughts when you watched the video?